find the volume of the solid generated by revolving the region bounded by the curves y equals root x x equals 2 and y equals 0 and we want to revolve about the y-axis so in this question we are using shell method let's graph these three curves okay so we have y-axis vertical axis horizontal one x y so y equals root x is this y equals root x x equals 2 so 1 2 say vertical line okay, let me draw one more time x equals 2 so basically this is 2 and y equals 0 y equals 0 is the x-axis so the region bounded by these three curves is here and we want to revolve this region about y-axis so this is y-axis so we want to revolve about y-axis okay and we want to use uh, shell method here to find the volume so in any case Dick's washer or shell method we know the formula the volume V is given by the area of the representative uh, in terms of x or y ax dx or ay dy and that representative goes from somewhere to somewhere a to b let me write in this way okay in shell method we want to write the representative uh, parallel to the axis of rotation in this case our axis is we are rotating about y-axis revolving about y-axis so the sample rectangle will be parallel to this axis which is different than disk and washer method in disk and washer method we are using perpendicular slice so in this case we will be using parallel to the axis in this case we are revolving about y-axis so our uh, rectangle of small thickness that should be parallel to this okay so we want to take parallel rectangle of a small thickness that thickness is here now okay and that should be on horizontal axis so dx delta x this dx suggests the curve should be written as a function of x y equals function of x which is already the case and our integration will be in terms of x so in this case look at this rectangle this sample rectangle could be taken anywhere from 0 to 2 okay starting 0 to 2 so a b will be in fact in our case 0 to 2 now when we revolve this sample rectangle small width rectangle about y-axis then what are you gonna get let me show you here let me take this color not good maybe the this one okay and when we rotate about this so this far so we'll be there so we get a cylinder hollow inside the so shell of cylinder okay and this point on the curve we have to take that as the generic point so x y x comma y y is in fact given by root x so x root x okay let me draw this shell of the cylinder over here okay and y axis is in there and our x axis is going from here and this is the x root x now we want to find the surface area of this cylinder okay shell just the lateral surface surface area and we know the surface area of a cylinder is a cylinder okay and we have say radius r and height h then the surface area is given by 
2 pi r times 8 okay, that's the surface area so in our case this the area to determine the volume is the surface area of the shell okay so area in terms of x is given by 2 pi radius times height and radius is here which is x this is x and this is height height is root x uh, let's simplify so 2 pi x times root x x means x raised to 1 times x raised to 1 half when we combine these two x's 1 and 1 half 1 plus 1 half 3 halves now we want to integrate this area to find the volume okay thus the volume is given by 0 to 2 the area is 2 pi x raised to 3 halves dx and 2 pi is constant we can pull outside so x raised to 3 half the entire derivative of x raised to 3 halves using power rule x raised to 3 half plus 1 5 halves divided by same thing 5 halves and we want to evaluate this function from 0 to 2 okay next let's plug in upper limit plug in 2 for x and plug in uh, 0 for x so lower limit has no contribution due to 0 so 5 halves when we pull to the front side 5 halves becomes 2 fifths 2 pi times 2 fifths so 4 fifths pi and 2 raised to uh, 5 over 2 okay now you want you want to find the exact value of 2 raised to 5 halves 2 raised to 5 halves is 2 raised to 5 is 32 2 2 2 2 multiply 5 times 32 raised to 1 half and a square root of 32 16 times 2 16 so 4 root 2 so basically this is 4 root 2 so 4 times 4 16 root 2 over 5 pi cubic units final